Okay, how to use Petite Modem. All right, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need an adapter like this. You know, you don't have to use the adapter. You can just put a speaker up to uh, the mic input, but most of the time it's not going to work. And if you have an adapter that runs uh, into the microphone input of your computer and like like you basically what you do is you hook you hook one end uh your your speaker output into the microphone input of uh your 3DS and then you output the sound from your 3DS into the input the microphone input of your computer and so this is like this is the fastest way to transmit data now what you're going to want to do is go to this website right here you want to go down and you're going to download this software now what you might need to do is if it doesn't work you might need to download the Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 and you're going to need to uh, download uh, this program right here on the Smile Basic and what it's going to do is it's going to give you two programs one is the compressor uh, it, it decompresses the files and compresses the files, I suppose. And then the other is the actual modem program. And we're going to load this up. Now, the thing with the actual modem program is that uh, there is receive file simplex, and then there is receive file with arc. Simplex is just it doesn't involve checking whether or not the data you sent is right. I'm I'm not, you know, I, I don't recommend that at all. I haven't gotten that to work. I do receive file with ARQ. And here is Petite Modem. Now, as you can see, there is send simplex and, you know, you can save it to WAV file. I do send with ARQ. And then I prefer to do 60 bits per second. And so on here, you're also going to want to set it to or 60, 600 bits per second. You're going to want to set it the same way on there. Now, before you do any of this, you want to, well, first of all, you want to get your file that you're going to um, send over there. And I just got some stuff off a of Sprite resource saved it. I, I saved it as a JPEG so that it would be a little bit smaller. And then uh, what you do is you just, oops, wrong thing. You open this and then you just drag and drop your file there. And what it'll do is it'll save this PZG type file. Now after you have your PZG file you're going to open back up this thing right over here. Then you're going to do send ARQ, send with ARQ. Find your file. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, nope, that's JPEG, PZG. And then on here, oops, on here, you're going to do Received with ARQ. So while you're doing that, it is going to. See, I got too many windows going on here. It is going to send at the slowest speed possible. Let's see if, if you know, it'll even do it with the recording software probably not but um yeah and that's pretty much the the be the basics of it right there um, and what i'll do is i'll make a video next on how to actually um uh, bring up the file you know s uh, save it in your sprites uh, and basically this is for importing just images and you can import programs and stuff like that it looks like also with this, you can uh, send and receive 
I imagine if you can receive things, then you can send programs from Petite Computer to this in its file format. So uh, who knows? You know, maybe this could be very useful.